Okay, guys, I'm back again. And what I have here before your very eyes is a great book by Bill Blitz. And Bill Blitz, he's a well known cartoonist. And I know many of you, many of my friends on Facebook love Bill Blitz. And uh, I might consider do a, maybe a couple of tutorials, you know, cartoon car tutorials. Let's see how it goes. Because I definitely want to show you that other book too, that um, with the heads and faces, which is um, this book. So that'll probably be on the third video. And the reason why it's going to be on a third video is because this book is pretty big and it's pretty long. So. And then when I uh, show you the pages, there's a lot of explaining to do, which I might consider skipping a few pages. Who knows? I don't know yet. But I never did a video on this book. Um, maybe I did, but probably the, um, the way I did it before, the camera angle probably came out upside down, I think. I'm not really sure. But anyway, let's get started. This has a little bit of everything. It's not only cartooning, it's like cartooning animals, um, funny faces, and this is how he really does, you know, his um, faces, you know, with an oval, then he does the line segments, and then he starts doing the features, and then the inking. Also, this has to do with a lot of inking, you know. Most of the work that you see in this book is definitely all inking, so. And then pretty much it tells you like every other how to draw book, pencils, everything that you need, you know. It says it right here, art supplies, um, pencil, paper, eraser, marker. <clears throat> and then right here we have, you know, a uh, pad and paper. Paper, he gives you an idea of what type of drawing paper you should get. Also copy paper, that's what I definitely use, copy paper. And uh, pink eraser, kneaded eraser, pretty much like every hard to do, you know, draw book and stuff. Instructions, and then we have the different type of pens: large point markers, roller, po yeah, roller ball pens, black color pencils, and then we have the medium point felt tip pens, and then we have the pens and the waterproof ink pens. And the fiber tip marker pens. And then we have the fine line felt tip pens. But all this nowadays, uh, because, you know, this is like old classic pens. But, you know, right now we have this, which is the Micron pens. And you can get these pens, like I mentioned before, different sets, different numbers. You know, like right now, the only ones I use right now is the number five and the number three, you know. And then you have the, the thicker one, which is, um, it says number one graphic, but it's the same type of pen, especially when you're doing thick pen, like, you know, pen work like this, you know, or like this. You know. But yeah, you can get them in so many numbers. Either you could get number two also, but that, to me, number two is like too thin. So. Then you also have this, which is really cool. That is sort of like a brush pen. And the brush pen, you could actually... You know, what you do is you has a you know cartridge and then it has ink in the, in the cartridge, and then you just put it in there, snap it in, and then you put it vertically down, and then the ink flows, and then you know just go like that, and then you'll be doing some really cool. You press down, make thick ink. You can make a thick, light, thick, light, thick. You see. You can practice doing this. You know, you could do this. And this is really good for doing big black and white details, you know? Like that, see? If you want to draw a cartoon or any character or the outline of the character, you can start off the outline. And then as, you know, pretty much like David Finch explains that when... When you're drawing line weight, this is good for line weight. Trust me, this pen is really good. And I forgot the name of this type of pen. I think it's called, um, 
let me see if I can see it. It's called the Pento, and it's made in Japan. So yeah, most of these pens come from uh, Japanese or you know Japan or something. So that's the only thing I like about Japan, you know, the the products. But when it comes to methods and techniques, uh, they, I don't know, they really suck at it. So, and excuse my French, but it is what it is. So it's a very good pen. You can make a lot of great details with this thin. Go like this, and you could practice like this, you know. Make a thick, thick, thick. Okay, enough with the pens. So anyway, let's go with uh, this book here, which has got a lot to offer. Tells you the table that you need. And pretty much, you know, you put some books behind, whatever, if you want. And tip over the board and you can draw. Usually I'm always drawing down. So sometimes for me to figure out if I'm doing the drawing okay, you have to tip my board a little bit. Because I have like two boards. It's like a clipboard. And I have a big clipboard that I could do my artwork in too. So here we have Art Morgue. Which is like, I would say reference. Yeah, and it tells you pretty much what you need. T-squares. And we have adding tints and patterns. These are ink techniques. How to, how to apply tint screens to your cartoons. And this has nothing to do... Well, there is some stuff here that has to do with superhero, but it's more like the classic cartoon superhero, which you're going to see sooner or later. So it's mostly cartooning. And the light box. I definitely need to get a light box. Because with a light box, what you do is you put the rough, put another piece of paper, and you ink over it, and you make it better. That's what a light box is. Also, he gives you an idea. You can use the window, but I think that's kind of hard to do. You know, actually placing your drawing in a window, um, and that's going to take a lot. So I'd rather just get a light box better. Plug it in the wall, and that's it. It lights up, and you get to see the drawing. And then you ink over the, the new drawing. And here we have different facial outlines. And, of course, it's all done in ink. We have more cartoon heads, step by step. And it tells you, like, once you do the inking, you erase with a needed eraser. But make sure you do all the details you need with the inking on your drawing. So maybe we'll do this segment today. That way you guys get an idea how do you erase your, your drawing with ink. That should be easy. And pretty much this is like the, um, um, I would say, yeah, um, Byron Hogarth explains how the face, you know, the face turns, you know, looking down, looking up. And this is the cartoon way of explaining it. The shape has beach ball or an egg shape. You see, it tells you right here. Mostly cartooning, see? Cartoons, cartoons, cartoons. And we have more cartoons here. How to add features in your cartoons and noses and mouths. How to do the hair. Expressions. Laughing, worried, sobbing. Sobbing means when they're crying. Hysterical, crying, sleeping. Proud, snobbish, like she's a snob, scared. So it's pretty interesting the way he does his cartoon expressions. Alert, dazed. We have 
More stuff here. And here we have with the bodies, cartooning the body. Um, cartoonified, realistic. He's explaining this is more realistic. And here's the shapes to do this. Basically, everything is all has to do with shapes. We have cone shapes, cylinder shapes, cone shapes. Gives you an idea what to do. And we have the step-by-step -step line cylinder and line technique. Most cartoonists actually use stuff like this. Different shapes, different people. Here we have people come in in size and proportions and so do cartoon characters. This guy needed a whole page for himself. And we got to walk the walk. How to do a cartoon walking. How to do a cartoon leaning back and the front view and the three quarter view. <clears throat> Action poses using the gesture line. This is more like gesture lines, different poses, running poses, leaning back, running, I guess. Three quarter view running. That's also important. That's also done in cartoons. The uh, I can't even pronounce that word. Miscellaneous musical pose. That looks like Elvis, kind of. Elvis Presley. Yeah, it's like a cartoon of Elvis Presley. Here's a cartoon struggling with a refrigerator. And some cartoon having a fit with a soda machine. Emotional situations. Not only you have to do expressions on faces and cartoons, but also on body. Expressions, exhausted overjoyed, anxiety, sick, and hands. Uh, cartoon hands are pretty easy to do. And the same basic method for a regular cartoon hand is mm, a lot of cartoonists actually use this technique to do comic book hands also, believe it or not. I've seen it done by various artists. They actually use a, sort of like a circle method and they use sort of like shapes. So let me give you an idea now that I'm talking about that, now that we came to the subject, that, you know, sometimes if you were to draw a hand, you know, you can do the circle technique and then you just, you know, do lines if you want, do lines, do another line here, or just simply, you know, just do maybe half of the hand lines this would be the, the thumb right here. Doesn't matter if it's the proportions are not right. You're going to erase that afterwards. And then, uh, yeah, you just do this right here. You know, you, it's like you're doing layers. And we all know that the finger has different layers, different parts. So you really got to keep that in mind. Some cartoonists actually use something like this. You know, they'll just do cone shapes like that, like that like that and like that just make sure the proportions are okay you know that the middle finger is going to be bigger remember it's bigger than this finger and bigger than this finger so yeah you know you gotta just make sure and then you just add more shape and little by little your hands and always remember that you got to do shapes here and this shape here and this is the hand if you look at it so if you look at it, it's like a cross and then at the same time you have a big oval here another oval here and this is sort of like a block shape so so yeah you just um do an oval here and then an oval here and then just a small oval that looks like a block shape there 
and then you have your hand and then you shape it afterwards but I if I, I've done some tutorials on drawing hands so all you got to do is uh, scroll on my library and you will definitely find how to draw hands um, hands holding things and we have the feet and of course cartoons are a little bit different when it comes to feet different types of feet saddle shoes sandal shoes yeah this guy is really creative when it comes to cartooning and here we have the car more cartooning effects and accessories this looks like a cash machine and we have some tricks with navy lines here there's a radio and remember, when you're doing a radio, even if it's a cartoon, don't do it flat. You're going to do the other side. So you're going to make three-dimensional shapes. Like this has a three-dimensional shape, you see? So that's what he's showing. This is a cylinder right here. If you notice, this is a cylinder. And this is like a block shape, but coming out this way. So if you were to do that, the, the grill machine, let's just say, you start off with a regular block shape like this, right? And then you just, you know, kind of like make the, the lines come out a little bit out like this over here also. So let's do the other half right here. And then you just shape it like this, you see. Something like that. So to make it look like this. So you're adding more shape, three more uh, dimensional shape on the grill so just be careful when you do this because you can actually you know do it this way also like for example um start the top better and then just bring in taper in the shape like that but you got to be careful with this because you're definitely going to need some perspective doing stuff like this all right so and the same thing with this you know you just do the shape of the radio and then do the other half which is the three-dimensional Everything that you draw has to be 3D, and 3D means three-dimensional. So let's keep going on with the pages. Let's see. Yeah, in cartooning, there's also rules. Trust me. Typical average man. Here we have the woman, typical average woman. And we have um, more like exaggeration here, like situations. You can see there's a, there's, even though this is a little bit flat, but you can see the side of the chair. And you can tell that this is the, uh, the table in perspective. I guess she's the president of the uh, company. And they got to follow her rules. And she's explaining how the situation is going, is going up like the market is going up so she's explaining that and this this eraser here actually is telling you to do the highlights like you're shading the table but you're doing the highlights with the eraser but you could do this with a kneaded eraser also also you can use voila my favorite eraser pencil and then you erase all that and that's about it okay so now let's go on to the next page Old and larger women. How to draw older women, larger, big women. And also the cartoon is mainly uh, bean shapes, you see. You can actually do a cartoon just by doing a bean shape. You can do two shapes like that, and there's your cartoon right there. This could be a bullet and uh, upside down triangle I mean it, everything has to do with shapes people right here explains the pear shape the pear shape add the lines for the features and then you add the features and then you add you ink it so it's just very simple you know it's just like if you were adding you know um, let's see if we can do it back here so let's say let's let's, let's do this one and I haven't done cartoons in a long time. So let's do the cartoon here. Well, there goes the dog. It woke up now. So I knew it. So 
And that's that's because everybody else is moving around. And dogs are like that. When dogs um, hear people moving around, especially loud, you know, loud people, and people that just love to make noise, so the dog is going to wake up. Right there, and then we have the nose. And then maybe, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. He's mad. He's mad about something, you know. So I don't know what's going on, man. It's like every day there's something going on in this country. We got to do something about it. Yeah. So, you know, you can actually make a, he's a mad, regular American cartoon. He's saying, what? What the hell is going on here? Yes. So all I got to do now, I'm going to actually do it in ink, just like uh, the other page that I show you. And then maybe instead of using this, maybe I'll just use the thicker pencil. Because this is a, dra a small drawing, so I want to make sure, you know, that all the line stays well done. So I'm going to trace. And usually, I usually you know, do the outline first. And it depends. If there's a lot of details, I'll start working for this, you know, the center. Now, I'm not going to do the, the line for the cross because I need to erase that. So, I got to do his ears. And his ears, it's got character, some details there. And then we'll just do the hair. He's got sort of like a highlight in the center right there. Then we'll do these really sharp eyebrows that he's got. Let me see his um, arm. Uh, and then he's asking questions. There's something going wrong. The mailman didn't come. Where's my mail? Or there's something wrong with my country. Whatever. You can always make up something. So remember, everything has to do with the story. So what do I do? What do I do? Either I get my needed eraser and give it a nice pose. And this needed eraser I don't like too much because you can't mold it that much. I don't know. It's going to have to rip it apart, I think. So erase all these lines that I don't need. And that's it. I got my cartoon, see? And, of course, I forgot to do some details underneath the eye, but that could be fixed. And this other ear, I forgot. And, yeah, it looks like it a little bit. And I go, go back, get my marker, and fix it. So, you know, you really got to take your time. Even when you're doing cartoons, you got to really take your time doing cartoons because you know it's it's the only way that your drawing is going to come out good you can actually use your kneaded eraser or you can use the uh my favorite one the um pencil eraser so you got so many options so let's try this character over here so i'm i'm giving you an idea how to do cartoons you know because um, it's always good to learn a little bit of something. It's not just only drawing regular faces, but, you know, and since I haven't been drawing um, cartoons, um, it's always good to practice, you know, practice drawing cartoons. It'll be the glasses right there. And then right where the center is will be the eyes. Then he's got this funny nose coming this way. Then he's got this smile. And then we'll just stretch the mouth, the mouth a little bit. And then this mouth going down. And I feel so bad because since my channel is actually, you know, focus on, you know, 18 years and older. But I would love for kids. And if you, if you do have kids and they want to learn how to draw cartoons, you know, don't, you know, just um, actually uh, guide them, you know, because the problem is uh, little young kids, they love to draw cartoons. And the thing is that my channel, 
I have it focused more on a, on a like more 18 years old older. But it, you know, there's a lot of young people that would love to draw cartoons, and I kind of feel bad that. You know, and and the reason why I have my channel, like I said, I have my channel more focused on 18 years and older because of the content. Because sometimes I'll draw some nudity when it comes to art. So I got to be very careful. So, but if you have children that love cartoons and they want to learn how to draw, just um, supervise them on my videos. That's all you got to do. Supervise them and... Um, Unfortunately, I can't make another extra channel. Um, I'm going to see how is maybe I could do that. I'm not really sure. Make another channel for kids drawing cartoons and superheroes because uh, the problem is that it's like I'm doing so many things on one channel. And, and like I said before, I'm not doing any more topics, uh, you know, talking about whatever crap or, you know, politics and because I'm through with that already. So. I used to do that way back, um, but I stopped doing that. And the problem is that they control everything you, that you're saying, and and you might mean it, mean it, you know, mean it in a good way, you know, to save this country. But it looks like our politicians don't give a crap of our. Like right now, we're in a war, and we just don't know where we're gonna where we're heading, you know. So far. We haven't gone to that point of a nuclear war yet, but, you know, that's really concerning. But, you know, it's just um, these are things that you got to talk about. But um, if anything, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to make a channel and actually no, a group on Facebook and and then maybe talk about things that are going on in this country and probably invite people with videos that want to share their point of view because really you know this country is going on a you know hell i would say i don't know if i'm saying it right hell in a hand basket something like that um, but it's just, it's just going worse it's just getting worse this country is getting worse and then at the same time you know it's like our country they should just mind their own business. And now we got half of the world hating us. So, so I'm going to see if I can do an extra channel for kids, you know, young kids. Like, you know, because when I was a kid, I used to love drawing, you know, cartoons. I started at nine, actually seven years old drawing. Um, and yeah, drawing... <laughs> Simple stuff, you know, block shapes and cartoons and stick figures and balloon shaped cars, you know. So, yeah, that's how uh, this guy does his cartoon, except that the way he did it is a little bit different. The hair, of course, I did it a little bit different. But, you know, there's no boundaries. You can always, you know, do your own rules and then you erase all the pencil lines. Uh, that's about it. Just make it look clean. That's it. And then you have your cartoon right there. And then he looks like he's got teeth right there. You know. Let's stand out the chin a little bit. And of course, when you have inking mistakes, and trust me, inking is not easy. It's always good to use white out. Get the one either with a brush or get, you know, the one that's actually made for for the office. But the office one is kind of hard. And so you just got to like dip a little bit out that ink, the white ink. And then, you know, cover all these little tiny mistakes. So all you got to do just a little bit. The only thing about this, it's a very, very strong smell. So that's, you got to be careful with this. So yeah, that's how you correct the mistakes, you know, if you want. So anyway, we're not going to do any more tutorials. I want to show you, maybe, who knows, I'll do some more tutorials. But anyway, I, it's there's a lot of stuff here to show. This is really cool. I like this, the way he did this cartoon. That is so cute and so funny, too. And it's very simple. It's like a... Kind of like a peanut or a Hershey's bar, not a Hershey's bar, one of those chocolate kisses. 
and then you just add two circles to do the glasses, the nose, and then you do the details for the hair and all that. And yeah, this is really cool when it comes to cartoon design and character design, because if you look at it, it's kind of like character design. Bullies and bad guys. Pretty cool. Uh, basic standing pose. Of course, the table looks kind of flat, but you know, when you're adding details, there's a, you know, there's always, you can actually break the rules. As, as long as it looks like a table, you know, you make it look like a table. If you want it, make it look three dimensional, you can make it look three dimensional, you know what I mean? But usually um, when you're doing cartoons and a lot of people get away with cartooning, um, they do everything flat, you know what I mean? So uh, it's what you want to do and probably how the editor actually sees your artwork too. That's another thing. So you gotta be careful with those editors that actually criticize a lot. And we have a cartoon here, like just like uh, Romero explains with the balance line, you see? And this is made most, mostly done in a lot of cartoons. They use balance lines. And here we have a profile of a cute girl. Here we have a diamond shape, just to do this face right here. And that's pretty easy. Just remember that you have to do the cross for the features. And that's it, you add the eyes. And let's see if we can do this one. Let's do it on another piece of paper. So we got to start doing um, all right, let me see. Learn the you know different types of shapes that you can actually do your cartoons. This time I'm going to do it a little bit bigger. So, you know, you could do it sort of like a diamond shape. That's what it looks like, a diamond shape. And then you draw her hair. She's got like a big afro. This, I think this is sort of like a black lady, a black American lady, regular black woman. And then right here would be, always remember that the, the eye line is always on top. When it comes to cartoons, practice doing this like that. Practice doing shapes like that, see? And practice doing the eyes on top, okay? And then the nose a little bit closer to the eyes and then the mouth a little lower, okay? Practice doing this and trust me, you'll be getting uh, really good doing cartoons. So practice doing, you know, shapes like pear shapes like this. And here's the center line, the cross. So the eyes would be around here, right? Then the nose a little bit closer. And then just, you know, the mouth a little bit lower, you know, or a smile or whatever. But make sure that the eye level is on top and the nose is close. And I, a lot of cartoonists actually do it that way. So practice these techniques. So let's go on with this character over here. With, uh, and also that the eyes are big, you know. And this is the regular, typical American way how to draw cartoon eyes. And then we have the eyebrows and the nose. She's got a, you know, small tippy nose right there. And then we got her mouth. We'll draw her mouth right there. And she's got, you know, sort of like dimples right here and then dimples over here. And, and then we got her lips right there and her lower lip right there. And then her chin right there. And that's it. I used to, way, way back, I sent my artwork to King Features a long time ago, but you know, they never gave me a chance. So unfortunately, you know, it is what it is. So, and King Features, that was like my favorite, favorite um, comic book company, especially I l used to love a lot. Uh, I, there was a cartoon that I loved a lot. It was about this woman, this lady cartoon. Her name was Blondie, I think it was. And then Archie. I used to love Archie. Archie Comics.
And we got the shape. We could actually change the shape of her jaw a little bit. And she's, you can tell that the shape is changing right here, even though it's straight, but it's changing just to get that regular cartoon face. And then the cheekbone is coming in out like that, see? Even though you have the diamond shape, but you're gonna actually change the face. So there you go, there's my cartoon right there. So now what I gotta do is, I can actually use, since I did this big, so I'm gonna actually use my favorite pen. So I'm gonna start doing some details. And I think uh, Bill Blitz has his own um, channel on YouTube, as you can check out on YouTube. He's got his own channel, I think. I could be wrong, I'm not really sure. I don't think he's on Facebook, but I think he's more on YouTube. And I did see, in case if you guys are interested, you could actually find um, Tom Richmond, um, a great cartoonist. Um, he has his own channel um, on YouTube. So right now what I'm doing is I'm doing the outline, and since she's got like an Afro kind of, now, it's a little bit exaggerated because I think, you know, since this is a cartoon, you got to make it exaggerated. You know how cartoons are. You got to exaggerate. You know what I mean? And then now I'm going to do the shape of her face very carefully. Kind of capture the bottom of her face right here. And then she, right there, see? Now I could do her eyes. First, I'm going to work. I think her eyes are pointed a little bit higher, so let's get that. Yeah, I think I did a mistake there. But it doesn't matter, you're gonna erase all that. Now I'm gonna do her eyes. Got her eyes. And remember, if you look at this three quarter view, this side of the eye is smaller, and this side seems to be a little bit bigger, so you. The same rules apply in cartoons. So I don't know if I got this right, but anyway, it's almost there. And like I said, I'm not very good doing cartoons, but I think I'm doing pretty good. And everything has to do with practice. Then notice that uh, the bottom part right here where the cheek line is, so what do you do? First, I'm going to do it in pencil because I don't want to mess up. And I'm going to make a... Usually, cart in cartoons or when you're drawing people, their cheek, you know, actually goes up a little bit. Maybe I probably exaggerated a little bit because I don't think that came out so good. But anyway, it's just better than nothing for now. And let's do... Start from here. Go down this way. Make her mouth like that. And then I'm gonna do the outline of her lips. And then um, first, yeah, I'm gonna do the bottom part of her mouth right there. Okay, now I'm gonna do her teeth right there. Okay. Then her chin. So it looks pretty good. Then since this is a cartoon, usually cartoons have small necks. So let's do her neck. First, I'm going to do it in pencil because I might make a mistake. So her neck would be like this. Maybe she has like little, a necklace around. And let's fix her neck. And then um, let's see. do some details on those little necklace balls. And then, of course, we got to do some shadow, cast shadow, a little bit underneath the neck. Just a little bit. There you go. Now, we could, if we want, we can do, but I'm going to leave it like that because it doesn't show too much over here. Details in the hair. So, now what I could do, I could get, make it look like this. First, I'm going to erase uh, 